Hey everyone, this is Twisted T. I wanted to show you guys a cool program that is very simple to use and it can record audio from any application on your Mac. What I'll do is I'll jump right into it and show you the ins and outs of the program and then I'll show you a quick example and then I'll show you the website of where I got it from. So the website that I got it from is Rogue Amoeba and the application is called Piezo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So I have it open here down, down here, so let me show you. Very simple program. Right, right at the beginning, you have your two uh, audio meters. You have your source. So if I click on source here, the first option is application. So if you click on this, it'll open up your application and finder and your applications folder, and then you can pick any application that you want. So for example, if you were getting ready to do an interview and you were using Skype, you can go ahead and select on that. And then this program can pull that audio and record that uh, interview that you do. Um, here's some recent applications that it has that you can pull from, and then also audio devices. So if you have an external microphone that you wanna use, you can also connect that and record from that too. Um, you have your record on and off button. And then just right here, real quick, this is the track name that you can name whatever you'd like, the time, and then this is just the settings. So you have your title that you can put anything you want in there, your comments, and then the quality that you want. These are for personal use, that's AAC format. And then for internet distribution, you have a low quality and a high quality. I recommend just sticking with the default, the high quality, because it is an MP3. MP3 can be used anywhere, and any application uh, can usually pick that, that up and play it. So I'll just show you a quick example. Right now, you can see the meter is moving because I have it set to built-in microphone. But I actually have a free video that I downloaded here. It just shows the water from Niagara Falls. So let's just say I, I need to pull a sound effect um, for a video that I'm making that's just like a waterfall sound. And this one is only 21 seconds long. And this video opens in QuickTime Player. So I need to change the source to QuickTime Player because this is where I want to pull my audio from. So I'll just change the source to QuickTime Player. So what you'll notice is I'm going to start and play this and you'll notice now the levels are moving. So the program is picking up that sound from that uh, video that's playing right now. So let me just stop this and we'll start it back. I only have 21 seconds on this video, so I'm gonna show you it real quick. So let's go ahead and hit play again. I wanna start recording. Now, you'll notice that the timer automatically goes off. You'll see this that'll say it's in trial mode, but that's okay. I'll explain that in a few minutes here. Just go ahead and hit okay. It'll still be recording and you'll notice that the levels are moving. So let's go, it'll go to 21 seconds. Okay, and I'll hit stop. All right. So that just recorded that sound of the waterfall. So you might say, okay, where's my sound file? Well, by default, if we come up here and we go to preferences, you'll notice that your recording set settings are by default. It goes into this uh, folder that it automatically creates. You can change this. So you can go to other, that'll open up Finder, and you can set it to your desktop, you can set it to your My Documents, or a special folder that you have for recordings. But I'm gonna click on this little mic, this, uh, not microphone, a uh, magnifying glass, and that'll show you that this folder that the program automatically creates is inside of my music folder and you'll notice this is the MP3 that I recorded. So that's a very simple rundown of this application. And I do have the website here for you that I wanted to show you real quick. And you'll notice Rogue Amoeba and uh, Piezo, 
I hope, again, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's just simple audio recording. And you'll notice that, look, uh, Spotify, Google Chrome from your own microphone, Skype, and then you can record MP3s or AAC. So what I want to show you is there's a free download. And the reason for this is what I wanted to do here. If we scroll down here, notice under free download, it says a note here before purchase noise is overlaid after 10 minutes of recording per launch. So what that means is every time you open up this application, they're giving you 10 minutes of recording time after 10 minutes, it starts overlaying uh, noise. And that's when then you have to go and purchase a license, which is only $20. So it's really a great program. And 10 minutes is a long time, you know, for, for any recording. I mean, you can pull sound effects if you're, you know, making your own music video, or if you're recording yourself playing a instrument or singing, you'll, you'll have the time to record that and make an MP3. Um, if you need to go longer, if you're in an interview uh, that you need to re record that's over an hour, then you'll definitely have to purchase a license. So I hope this helps. It's a uh, neat program that can allow you to record all kind of audio from any applications. Thank you.